Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the difference between the clip bin and the library um, and I'm going to show you how to use them and give you little tricks on how to uh, clean up your clip bin and export your project also. So the main difference between the clip bin and the library, this question has been asked a lot of time and you can see you can think of them as as both as buckets where you can put uh, stuff that you're going to use later in your video okay sometime when you you create a video let's say you create a video for your daughter's birthday and you have multiple little video clips that you took you have a sound file uh, that everybody was singing at the birthday and you have you can have like a birthday song that you want to put at the start of the video in the background or you can have uh, pictures and drawings that you have scanned or you know multiple media like that so uh, since this will be used only on on your your uh, one project this one project you would import those uh, media assets into the, the clip bit okay uh, Camtasia called it assets uh, whatever you can call it whatever you like okay all the media that you have imported will be here the library on the other hand is is uh, something that you're going to use over and over again it okay camtasia studio uh, the one i'm using is 7.1 version 7.1 on window window platform so um the uh, the library comes pre-populated by uh, by camtasia okay when you install it so you have audio and different stuff so let's say i want to make an intro okay for a video so i'm going to click here I'm going to drag it to the timeline. Select the original dimension, and I will add the uh, audio. I, if I want to preview it, uh, just little trick. You can just double click on it. So that's the one. So I cannot add it to audio one because uh, it's linked with video one because usually a video will come with audio. Um, I need to add it to uh, uh, video track two. I can just right click on it. I could drag it, but it won't work. It won't. You see, it's telling me it doesn't work. It's gonna automatically add audio two. I can drag it here, or I could have right clicked on it click on add to and selected audio two or three depending on how many audio you have uh, i could have unlinked unlinked the audio one and two um, the problem is as you can see once uh, unlink clips cannot be relinked this is a weird uh, behavior of camtasia but that's the way it is if i un uh, if i click here it's going to ask me do you want to permanently unlink audio one and video one and the name permanently is not a joke if you say yes it's going to link them i will be able to add audio to the uh, audio one uh, but the problem is if you save it and you import it back it will still be unlinked so i don't don't do this there's three audio tracks it's more than enough okay so if i zoom a little bit and i go at the end the head will snap at the end of the video. Um, I want to create my little video. Let's move that to the start. So what I need is to create a fade out. Um, this is uh, this audio is way too long. So what I'm going to do is a split. I'm going to split the audio track. You know, I make sure I click on it. You can see there's a, like the, the blue uh, highlight around it. Now there's two ways to split. You can either uh, click on edit and click on split or you can just hit the s key on your keyboard i think yeah you can right click and click on split also i prefer it's i don't like uh, right like i mean like right clicking on it uh whatever there's, there's three ways to do it anyway i prefer to just use the s keyboard and it created two different audio as you can see i can select either one of them in my case i'm going to delete that one and now what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. What I want to do is create a fade out. So I click to audio. You can either click here or you can double click here or right click and click edit audio. Okay. I'm just going to double click. The. 
Okay, let's move that up a little bit. Uh, okay, so you just click fade out. It's not more complicated than that. I think the fade out is too long. I prefer it to be a little bit shorter, just when it starts to be a bit noisy. Okay, so this is done. You can see the audio in the video. I know my, my screen is kind of small because I need it to be viewable by the most number of people. Usually uh, when you're going to work, your screen should be uh, bigger. So I can see the, the tracks here. Uh, if I want to... Let's return to the library thing. So I... You know... Now I want to create an assets that I'm going to use over and over again. Okay. Um, oh, let, let's make it even cooler. You'll you'll see why I want to create an assets. I'm going to say like a call out. It's just going to be a text. And you can type uh, what color do did I choose? Okay, it's white. This is my cool intro. Let's make it bigger. Uh, So, let's copy this, move here, copy it. Change the text on that one. Oops. So if I list, if I, uh, I'm gonna center it. Now let's look. Okay, so now I've created uh, something that I want to keep in all my videos. So uh, what I want to do is actually save it to the uh, media library. Okay, so what I do is I go select everything. I could select only part of it, but I want to select the whole intro. Right click on it and select add to library. It's going to ask me. Uh, to name it so I'm gonna name it my intro and it is now part of Camtasia if I delete the project and create a new project now you can see it's an empty project my intro even if the clip bin is empty my intro is still there I can drag it and you will see that everything that I've created is there so you can create quite a um, long intros and and you'll see okay so this is the uh useness of the library okay um you can store all kind of different things you can use the one that came with camtasia you can uh you can import media into the library uh, you can create new folder, you can import zip library, or you can, let's say I want to create, I have created a couple of, of uh, I have created, a, well, I can, I, okay, I can preview, if I preview it, it's the same as double clicking on, double clicking on it, it will load it. So 
I can preview the, the whole thing. Okay. Um, let's say I have, I have created uh, an intro and outro, and I want to save them just to make sure I don't uh, delete them or I want to send them to somebody else. What you could do is export library. Uh, it's going to ask you where you want to export it. You can just um, uh, name it whatever you like. It doesn't matter. I'm going to leave the default name. And it has been exported. And if I go look into my uh, directory, if I go look, the package I've just created is there. This is my package. It contains everything. You can open it with a WinZip, or in my case, I'm using 7-Zip, which is a free uh, zip editor. You can look for it on the web. But anyway, okay, there you go. Uh, there's only the audio, the video, and Camtasia created, um, you know, images for a sequence, uh, the thumbnail, and the transition. So. The cool thing is I can send that to somebody else by email and if they double uh, click on it, as you can see, it's a little uh, Camtasia icon thing. If you double click on it, it will install it into Camtasia so they can install um, your, uh, your library assets that you've created or you can back them up. So this is, this is the, the, you know, the, the purpose of, um, of uh, the library and, and, of course, it's better if you uh, um, organize your stuff. So what I would do is create a folder. I'm going to call it My Assets. And I'm going to drag this video into that directory. So now it's everything is sorted out uh, neatly. So every time I close Camtasia and I come back, this will be there so I can reuse it all the time. One other cool thing you can do with the, the library is import some uh, some media that you can, uh, like your, your company's logo or your customer's logo uh, that you know you're going to use often. So um, the only thing is you cannot, uh, as of version 7.1, import directly into a directory that is either there or that you have created so let's say for now i have my assets that i've created i cannot import uh, a, a media directly into that one and you cannot also right click and you know there is no uh, import media so you need to it doesn't matter if you select that one you uh, click on the import uh, media button you select the images, so I'm going to select those three ones, click open, and as you can see, they're not in the directory, they're in the main folder of the library. So what you need to do is import all the stuff that you need and uh, select everything. You can select the first one and select the last one by holding the shift key and dragging it. You click on it once without releasing the, the left button of your mouse and you drag it over the name My Assets or where you want to drag it and it's going to be included into that uh, library. So it's a cool way to organize your stuff and to build your own little library of assets that you can use on uh, all your video.